was so appetizing. <laughs> it was hard to wait. Yes. All right, I'm going to dig in. Yes, me too. Some beans and meat and veggies. Also, when you bite into the meat and the vegetable, mm -hmm. it's very sweet. Exactly. Mm. And the combination of uh, curry spices and Japanese seasonings, mm -hmm. sushi vinegar and soy sauce, mm -hmm. that creates a very original curry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the texture of the beans. Yeah? Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very different from the meat. Mm -hmm. Some are soft, some mm -hmm. are a little crunchy. Right, right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Oh, this is really good. Mm -hmm. So the salad looks really good too. The mm. color is very appetizing. Mm -hmm. mm, I think I'll try it. Yes. So I'll get a little bit of tomato and mm. avocado together. Mm. Mm. Avocado and tomato goes really well. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a Japanese word version of a caplete. That's true. <laughs> right. The richness of the avocado goes really well mm -hmm. with the flavor of the, the sesame oil. Uh-huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can also substitute with just regular olive oil. Okay, mm -hmm. so it works good, good with, with either one. Yes. Right. I never knew that tomatoes and avocados go so well together. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. If you want to create a recipe uh, that's healthy, mm -hmm. you just combine uh, different colors. Right. And it's a... Uh, you eventually make balanced diet mm. so, and oh, also this mm -hmm. uh, sweet dessert you don't have to worry so much about the waistline because you're not using too much butter exactly yeah. because the meal is so healthy mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about skimping on the yeah on the sweet dessert yeah. <laughs> yeah that's good news for me i think yeah. i'll try it now then. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. The syrup is very refreshing, yeah, isn't it? Mmm. Adding a sugar into just regular tea is mm -hmm. kind of scary for most Japanese people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never really tried it. Mm -hmm. But, it's, but it's it tastes very good. really good. Yeah. I thought maybe that the sweetness would kind of um, cover up the aroma of the green tea. Mm -hmm. But if anything, it enhances it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. it goes very well together. Yeah. I can say that, that uh, this type of curry is a versatile dish that goes right. well with uh, any dessert. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you enjoy cooking your own curry and then mix your own vegetables and anything you like. Definitely. You're going to be the chef. Right. <laughs> so the next time I make curry at home, mm -hmm. I'm not going to forget to use tobanjang uh -huh. and, of course, sushi, sushi vinegar. vinegar. These yeah. two are probably the key exactly. to this flavor. Yes. And I hope you guys try it at home, too. Yes. Well, until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is really good. Yeah. Good. Today's menu is Rika's Bean Curry. Avocado and tomato salad, and shiratama dango. Let's review how to prepare them. Cut the onion and carrot into small pieces. Cut the tomato into bite-sized pieces. Mince the garlic. Cook the onion, carrot, and garlic for about 10 minutes. Using a spatula, stir the curry powder, spices, and dobanjang together. And when the aroma is released, add the ground meat. When the meat is nicely browned, crumble it and combine it with the vegetables. Add the tomato and water and cook until the water is almost gone for about 10 minutes. Add the sushi vinegar, then beans, and season with soy sauce and bouillon. It's done after simmering for five to six minutes over low heat. Pour the curry sauce onto a dish of cooked rice. Next, the avocado and tomato salad. Cut the lettuce leaves into two to three millimeter thick strips. Half the avocado and tomato and cut each into seven millimeter thick pieces. Scatter the lettuce on a plate and alternate the tomato and avocados on top. Combine equal amounts of sesame oil, soy sauce, and sushi vinegar. Mix well and pour over the salad. Sprinkle with toasted sesame seeds and chill in the refrigerator. 
Shirotama dango is our dessert. Bring water to a boil. Have ice water ready in a bowl. Knead the mochi rice flour by adding water little by little until the consistency is firm yet smooth and tender. Make bite-sized balls by rolling between your palms, flattening a little, and make a dent in the center. Cook the balls in boiling water, and when they float to the top, remove and plunge them into ice water. Place the green tea leaves in a teapot. Pour boiling water into a bowl or another teapot and allow to cool a little for one to two minutes. Transfer the water into the teapots containing the leaves, cover and steep for 90 seconds. Pour it into a container, mix in the sugar and chill in the refrigerator. Pour the green tea syrup into the bowl of the shiratama dango, and it's done. Now our three dishes are complete. Each one uses many Japanese healthy cooking techniques. Try them out and enjoy.